What is up, bros? Me, Josh, here, bringing you a quick video on the USS Flint. The USS Flint was the first ranked reward ship that we've received. I guess technically the Kitakami was, but then that was taken away, blah, blah, blah. This is going to be the first of, I believe, many. Um, if, to my knowledge, I think the ranked seasons are going to go kind of in a three-season uh, little sections, and you have the ability of earning a premium ship throughout. Um, but this was the le recent one. If you had won... And now that our season four just got over, if you had gotten rank one in season two, in season three, in season four, then you unlock the ability to get the Flint. I believe there's only a few on actually North America. I'm not sure how many were on EU, but um, this ship was then put into your port. First of all, this ship is basically in Atlanta. Let's kind of just get that one out there. It's kind of an Atlanta clone, but a little different in the right ways, I guess, because it is the ability. Also, if you guys did get rank one last season, I believe you can still get it next season. It's kind of confusing how they've kind of explained it. If you guys can explain it a little bit better in the comments, go for it. But I believe if you still got rank one last season, season four, and you get it in season five, you still have the ability to get it. If I remember correctly, you may have needed to do season three, four, and then five. But I think if you got season rank one in season four and then season five which is the upcoming season you may still be able to get it but i'm not 100 percent sure um how they're doing flags is kind of confusing but anyways let's jump into the ship this is basically in atlanta and we're going to kind of compare the atlanta um the flint as you can see has a pretty actually kind of cool uh camo i like the white camo it's kind of neat i don't really know what that is but uh just looking at the ship it's it's in Atlanta. It looks just like in Atlanta. Um, the main thing is the main difference of just the ship itself are it doesn't have these two little side guns. So if you're broadside, you're you're missing out on one set. So two two uh, two cannons. But other than that, um, it's relatively the same. Uh, the Atlanta has a bit more health, about 900 more. The Flint has 26,600. Uh, it's 16 minimum, uh, 16 millimeter minimum to 89. So it has a bit more armor than the Atlanta. Uh, Exact same guns, just uh, six instead of eight total maximum firing rating without the uh, captain is 11.1. Now, this is one of the major changes is actually the torpedoes. This actually has the Benson torpedoes. So the Atlanta will switch over to that really quick and we'll just show the Atlanta has um, about 900 more life, a little less armor. It doesn't really do too much because it still get absolutely wrecked. Same guns. So the Atlanta has really strong torps damage-wise, but the range is only 4.5 kilometers. Now, bouncing back over to the Flint, the Flint has 9.2 kilometer torpedoes. They're insane. They do insane damage. These torpedoes make it, it... It's basically now, people used to call it, well, it's basically a destroyer. Now, it it really is a destroyer because also... We'll go through the rest of this really quick. Um, the AA is actually a little bit different. Uh... The Bofors, there's more Bofors, so the, the guns that are affected by AA and BFT, the AA is actually a little bit better on the Flint. Um, haven't really noticed a massive difference compared to the uh, Atlanta going against planes, but still really, really solid. Maneuverability, as, as I believe, is the same. Don't check that. Yeah, it's the same. Is it a little slower? No, it's not. And then the concealment is exactly the same. But, okay, let's dive into the main things that are different on this. You lose an extra gun get longer torpedoes. Atlanta, since the latest update, got radar, but the, uh, the Flint has smoke. It is insane. It does have a smoke. It doesn't get the radar, but this is the crazy part, and the smoke lasts for 121 seconds. The reload time is 160 seconds using the premium. That is insane. Super, super strong. There's only about a 40-second time where you're not out of smoke and you can just rapid fire smokes it's absolute madness now the the atlanta tended not up to you very well it was uh the little range you needed certain maps you needed cover to do it now you can kind of make your own cover you can go out to an island and kind of extend the smoke out and sit in that smoke for 121 seconds are you kidding me this thing is insane i love it it's so much fun to play What's the best part about playing Atlanta, hiding behind that island where no one can see you and just lobbing shots? You know what you can do? You can make your own smoke island and hide in that. And then, of course, there's torpedoes and stuff that can come in. But it's crazy. The strength of this ship is insane. People can only hit really what they see. You know, of course, people can shoot into smoke. People have gotten better at it over time. But it is crazy good. Um, the torpedoes are also insane for aerial denial as well as 
doing crazy amounts of damage. I mean, this thing has been so much fun to play. It does a really, really good job. High rate of fire, both have a reload at five seconds. So the Flint, it's basically in Atlanta, and but it has like all these, all these tricks. Now people are asking, is it going to be sold? Is it going to be in the shop? I have no idea. Uh, one of the latest things through the through the Pearl, um, the Pearl thing on the, the Pearl event, you got the Kamikaze R if you did the whole thing. Now they ended up selling the Kamikaze R. I don't know. Uh, Wargaming could potentially end up selling this down the road, but really, I'm not a hundred percent sure if they are going to sell this thing. I pref honestly. I would like it if they didn't. Now there's going to be probably a huge hubbub because you're giving the best players this really, really, really good ship. The Atlanta doesn't really up tier that well. The the Flint with its smoking ability has it up tiers really well. There was one game while I was playing on Hotspot, and it was me and Atlanta and a Bliss going against tier eights and nines on Hotspot. We we're on C cap. We completely ran it, running the radar with the Atlanta, running the smoke screen with the Flint, and running just a destroyer for vision. It's insane. It's a really, really good ship. You could technically run two flints and a destroyer or a flint Atlanta destroyer and be in perma smoke um, almost the entire game. Not quite the entire game, but a lot of the game, depending on uh, if you even if you run a double destroyer or a double flint. Uh, it's a really, really fun ship. I, it would be cool for everyone to be able to play it. I like the ability that it's for the people who earned it. Now, this is what I was kind of worried about. Is the ship too strong? Are we giving the, the best players on the server a ship that's really, really good? Uh, I'm not sure, but I have no idea if they're going to sell it. They might. Who knows? But this is it, guys. Like I said, you need to get rank 1 in Season 2, 3, and 4, which I did. And I think you have the ability, like I said, if you got Season 1 last season, or rank 1 last season, and then Season 1 this coming season, I think you might be able to get it next season. Um Definitely, though, if you got rank 1 in Season 3, Season 4, and then the upcoming Season 5, I think you'll be def definitely be able to get it. I think that's the last one, then they move on to the next ship. So I think that's how they're kind of going to run. I think they're going to do three or four season, uh, I don't know, groups or whatever, then they possibly get the ship. But yeah, so basically, it's in Atlanta. It has one less gun on each side, longer torpedoes, smoke instead of... Uh, radar and a little bit cool paint job. I actually, like the paint job. Some people were giving it some crap, but I think it's kind of cool. Although almost all white, and then um, a little bit different AA, which is I think uh, I haven't seen a, a noticeable difference being that much stronger and whatnot. But yeah, really really fun ship, guys. Hope you guys, if you see it out there, hopefully it's on your team because it's gonna be one. It's gonna be a good player, and two, it's a it's a really really fun ship. But good luck, guys. Have fun out there. Um, be, fr be, fr be friendly to your uh, friendly uh, flint out there. If he's in smoke, just torp him, right? That's all you got to do. So good luck, guys. We'll catch you next time. We'll see you.